right off the got a good question right off the first one the popular speedrunner okay. rw white goose was banned from adgq after being all games done quick um it should be agdq mm -hmm. right all games done quick um after being discovered yeah. to be a white nationalist when his discord messages were leaked thoughts did you hear any of that or see any of that yeah, yeah, this is a... Uh, oh, oh man, my a God. I thought when they said, like, white nationalist, I was like, okay, he probably said some shit like he's pro-Trump or whatever. He went full on, like, fucking Jewish question and everything. There was a lot of fucking shit in there. Damn. <sighs> okay, all right. So, first thing first is uh, a AGDQ. It's an uh, awesome game, Stun Quick. Not all games, Stun Quick. I know people are going to probably... Oh, it's awesome game, Stun Quick. My bad. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, no, it's, it's cool. It's not, even, it's, it's not important. Just figure I get that out there for you. Um, yeah, um, White Goose, he is a, he's a popular YouTuber. He's a known GoldenEye speedrunner, and he has some uh, questionable views on a lot of things. He's definitely – he's a big Jordan Peterson fan, uh, if you didn't know. Um, but I, did, I knew that. I knew that that was, like, a, a troubling thing people have reported to me in the past um, because he kind of has some questionable uh, world views based off of being a, a Peterson enthusiast. Um, or maybe more than that, obviously now, but, uh, yeah, yeah, no. So what happened was, um, if I recall correctly, the, there's a thread of someone who's like shouting out all the toxic things, both him and another speedrunner were, were just casually talking about, which mm -hmm. include all the things you saw in that, in that, in the, uh, in the screen caps. And the thing is, okay, you would think that these screen caps are coming from perhaps his own discord. And that is like an extension of his identity. And therefore he should not be rep represented in any charity drive whatsoever, but from what I understand, the uh, these all these messages were at a uh, were in a speedrunner only private room on the official speedrun.com Discord or an official speedrun Discord. So it wasn't his private one. They were openly talking about all these things in a locked room at an official one. And it's just like, man, you got some fucking balls, dude. Yeah, yeah. It was a uh, it was pretty troubling, I'll say the least. Uh, I didn't know I didn't know about all that until the, the leak happened and whatnot. Um, I'm not. I'm not too too close to him. We haven't. Uh, we haven't spoke actually in quite a while. Like last time I seen him was probably like 2014, at a at a at a prior GDQ engagement. Um, and uh, what else is there about this here? Yeah. So th if you look through the leaks, it's uh look, look through the. You can find the the tweet in question quite easily if you look for it. Um. Oh yeah, I was yeah. just showing it on stream. So yeah. Oh, you were okay. Yeah. It, it's pretty. Uh, it's it's pretty indefensible. So, uh, they uh him and the other speedrunner got removed from this uh or, or pretty much permanently banned from attending gdqs and uh gdq remains um a safe space ever since mm -hmm. um what do i think about it though I don't, he doesn't really do he has opinions about things that i probably disagree with but i haven't seen any video content of him elaborating on those things mm -hmm. so i wish i had more insight to go into to talk about it but i unfortunately uh don't but yeah, he's he's out now though. Yep. I also don't know how many people. Um, I don't know how much of the community actually thinks like Goose with these whole things here. Um, do you have any quotes here? Do you want to want to read off here or anything that uh, is like you know Twitch safe to read that uh, to um, give them a better example? Well, I mean the or just, the one that summarize. I was bringing up was literally like um. Yeah, to this be, is like uh, a super in, common Peterson talking about. I hear this a million times. Women aren't biologically primed to work 24-7 in one field. Only fucking nuts men are. They have other priorities and desires than to be number one in some job or other discipline. Watch the vid, mate. I promise it's the most important thing you'll see this week. This is what people don't understand or try to deny. Women are inherently non-competitive because it's in their nature to nurture and make sure everyone survives. Men are the exact fucking opposite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Is it fair to say that there's like a, a strong parallel here between um, the things he's saying and that that one Google employee who got fired? Um, James Damore. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean it's the same. Or, or like is this like a Peterson yeah. stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I said earlier, um, thank you for whoever posted this album. I think there is a lot of importance in this. Is very scary because what he's actually using here are um, I, mean, I don't mean to call him this, but man, these are neo-Nazi talking points. I think there is a lot of importance in, quote unquote, not showing your power level. It's easy to get cast away as an anti-Semite if, oh, if you talk about the Jewish question in this climate. I don't see any issue avoiding the Jewish question for the next few years while the Overton window shifts, to be honest. You don't want to be cast out this early. Um, this kind of stuff is like really standard neo-Nazi messaging, where basically like you don't want to talk about, you know, how Jews are controlling everything openly because that makes you look crazy. So you kind of like subtly dog whistle it and you don't talk about it really openly. You have to wait until people become more accepting of it. But yeah, that, that kind of to see somebody like like in gaming and whatnot, like openly talk about something like that um, is like really insane. 
Another guy said, another guy was talking to him and he says, it's amazing how much race mixing there is in advertising. In that ad, we've got the soy boy getting cucked by the black guy with the fake red haired <laughs> lady laughing at him. And then our white goose responds, yeah, it looks like a, dis a direct simu simulation from that cuck Nickelodeon bulldog show. There's this really egregious race mixing ad slash poster at the radio station I attend weekly. I've considered taking a pic many times. Like this is like full on, like this is literally like alt white shit or not all white this is like alt-right shit it's not even like he's like a conservative trump supporter but it's like full-on yeah. like fucking neo-nazi shit like that'd be like insane some guy says pay for them to go back to africa um i'm alt-right jack says i wouldn't be that generous uh they'd get a free one-way trip to africa or they'd face the wrath of king jack's army um and then, like, uh, later on, our white goose on the same, like, topic is, the thing is, people have been moved forcefully many times in world history, and you can argue it never ends well, but neither does everything else when it comes to solving issues on a grand scale. Like, yeah, I don't know. Whew, yeah, there, uh, don't know how you defend that, honestly. Yeah, that... Here, he links a video. Here's an interesting video about that. The Jewish role in the porn industry. <laughs> So I don't know how I, I spent this is my life living here. So I don't know how many of these theories you're familiar with. But a lot of people th say that, like, the fascination with, like, the BBC, the big black cock and interracial porn, that is actually mm -hmm. pushed by Jewish people as a way to make white men feel like shit so that they get outbred in society so that all the women are going for the black guys and you dilute the white race so that they can't, like, represent themselves and have power like the Jewish people that maintain their purity and everything. Yeah, there's like a lot wow. of shit. Yeah, it's like blatant, like alt right, like signaling like it's fucking insane insane um yeah wow. oh, i did not okay i didn't even need wow. to explain that because he says it here in the next line yes this is <laughs> so this is our white goose yes that's exactly it point industry is part of the media and they want to emasculate white males into submission which is why they make sites like blacked and tushy promoting degenerate dangerous anal sex and why cuckolding is popular um, there was a theory going around for a long time that star wars <laughs> episode 7 was about this as well that the movie was actually about um about watching like you're a white man and you're watching um Flynn, you know, get the girl and everything as a black yeah, male like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, holy shit. The, yeah, but the, these I, logs are insane. <laughs> wow. My belief is reinforced through everything possible. Oh my god. That's I I I I, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna have to watch this video, uh, um, in full detail on the stream at some point, just yeah. to like. All right, I'll, I'll link you the uh, album or whatever. But yeah, this is like some yeah. pretty crazy shit. The women shit that got leaked isn't even like that's like standard. That's like level one degenerate Jordan Peterson. Right. Fan. That's like whatever. But this is like full on like past John Tron. Pat like he's like a full on alt writer. Like he's totally bought into all of these narratives. The 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 hallmark. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because before this, me and um tracks we're talking about doing a show to explain like basic political terms but i, I guess uh, if you're not aware like the hallmark alt-right trademark is if you believe that jewish people sit on top of the power like systems and they push propaganda in order to destroy the white man then that that's like your that's like your big alt-right signal like that's your big alt-right yeah. card yeah oh man dude that yeah that's a mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah pretty indefensible honestly i would say yeah, even even if there was no call to action, like even if the idea here is like, oh yeah, like the, you, he shouldn't be banned because he has a differing opinion. The the difference here is that it's not like a it's it's a charity organization mm -hmm. slash charity drive, and they they would want nothing to do with that. So the fact that it's even got like thrown out there by anyone at all, it, it's gonna go down or it's gonna you know get banned anyway. So yeah, like it's not even a matter of the, would would he do anything? Would he assault anyone? Would he? Uh, I don't think he's a violent person. Yeah. Um, but I, but yeah, that, that is a that is toxic for any charity brand to be associated with. So yeah, any any charity is going to drop him, drop any person who has that logged as things they actually typed out and said. Yeah. Um, and then the the the, the extent of the vocabulary he uses there, like throwing out like you know, um, mm -hmm. I wish I again, I wish I had more on it. I wasn't, I wish I would have been better prepared here. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, yeah, well, that, that was um, definitely something. <clears throat> this is about not safe for work shit. Or